I'm not good company right now. Okay, you will be by the time we're done with you. We just came from visiting your mother. And we heard the same speech that you did, how much she needs you, how you can't leave poor Charles, and what about your loyalty to the quarter main name? Dylan, she's full of it. You know better than anyone how selfish your mom can be. That's all that this is. Dylan, if you listen to Tracy about this, you will regret it for the rest of your life. Don't blow this, Dylan. It's a chance for you to live your dreams. Well, what if some of my dreams are right here? clear to me. You'll never be in love with me. End of story. I know, but... Lulu? Oh, Did you mean it or not? I can't imagine falling in love with you. Can we just... We've been through so much. Yeah, but the, the, the best relationships are based on friendship and trust, and we already have those going for us. That's all that we have going for us. I know that you've been burnt. I know that, and I know that you're scared to take a risk again, and I also know that that's partially my fault. Dylan, I threw myself at you. I thought that if I had sex with you, it would somehow make you like me, which was almost as big of a mistake as getting pregnant. I know, but that, you see, that is when everything changed. I mean, our families got involved. Everybody wanted to throw in their two cents. I thought I was wrong to have an abortion. No, you made a decision, and I may not have agreed with it, but it was your choice to make, and I still respected that. I know. And you, you were great. Well, I mean, I, I know you're going to take time to get over it. I'm willing to wait. I'm, I'm, I'm not willing... asking you to. Well, what about this, Lulu? We are great together. We do have fun. We can talk about anything. We have been through friendship to, to relationship to back. You are amazing to me, and I want to be with you and look at you. I just, I think that a small part of you wants it too. You're just not opening up. It's not that I'm not opening up. I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't want to hurt you. I'm seeing Logan. Are you kidding me? I probably should have said something. Yeah, you think? Obviously, I would have if you and I were dating, but we you, weren't. Really, you told me that you were not ready to date anyone. I didn't plan this. It just sort of happened. Lou and I were just friends, man. Excuse me, I'm having a conversation. Dylan? You're... You're, you're trying to push me away, aren't you? Aren't you? Because you know that I have this amazing job opportunity to, to work with a, a director that I, I really respect, and you know that, and so... So for my own sake, you're going to tell me that you're dating him. If it makes you feel better to believe that, you can, but I am really seeing Logan. Oh, you know what? If you had said Milo or Spinelli, maybe I would have understood, but you hate him, Lou. 
Lou is an amazing person. I know how lucky I am. Dylan, I'm sorry. You know what? The job is what I really want. Thank you. Thank you for making it an easier decision. Thank you. Dylan has an opportunity to work for a major movie director, and he was willing to pass it up if he thought that we had a chance. Wouldn't that be his choice? Dylan has always wanted a career in film, so I couldn't let him say no. What if an opportunity like this never came up again? You really care about that guy, don't you? Dylan's been a very good friend. Translation, you're not attracted to him. He has a lot of reasons to hate me, but he still cares about me, and he wanted us to try to be together. And it's not about not being attracted. It's about me wanting to be as good a friend to Dylan as he's been to me. So what if he'd stayed? Could it have turned into more? Rick Lansing wants to see you. And I would like a new Maserati. Tell the dude I'm busy. It wasn't a request. You know, it's really no surprise that you found this ridiculous excuse for a job for Dylan. What's that supposed to mean? It means that you have thrown your life away on music, and now you expect him to throw his life away on the movies. Grandfather, it has been my dream to work in film for years, and you know that. Adolescents are not known for common sense. You need to grow up, son, and, and, and learn your responsibilities. Yeah, and what? Work for ELQ? Well, you did show promise. No offense, but I hated that. Son, I don't want you to wake up in five or ten years and find out that you, you're wasting your life. I don't want to wake up in five or ten days and hate myself for not taking this opportunity. Well said. You are a terrible influence, Ned. Edward, shut up. This family excels in backstabbing and bickering. Why not use it to show some love and support for a change? Oh, oh this from the woman who caused Alan to have a heart attack. And Alan was not Skye's fault. She has no business lecturing anybody about love of family. Ignore them. Alan considered you his daughter, Skye. Are you two a tag team or what? Well, it wasn't her fault that a group of cold-blooded mercenaries took over Metro Court. She knew that going into that hotel would be dangerous. I had no and idea. You had an opportunity to call the police. Please let the family know that you chose all of you enough. I'm happy for you, Dylan. This is a great opportunity, and I know that you're going to do an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. I guess it hasn't really sunk in that you're actually leaving. <laughs> We've shared so much. You've always been around as my friend and my confidant, and. And there's going to be a big gap in my life when you're gone. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. luck to you. Not that you're going to need it because you've got talent and vision to spare, huh? Dylan, best of luck to you. You're going to have a wonderful adventure. I'm very proud of you. Boy, I'm going to be bragging about you and you're a famous <laughs> film director. Come oh, here, <laughs> uh, Well, I guess I'll have to become one then. Or else. You're a damn fool. But, uh, you're our damn fool. So, goodbye. And good luck. And don't you dare call asking for money. I'll miss you, too. Hold it! They're not going anywhere. Too late, Lou's gone, but why did the DA want to see you? Business. Don't tell me you're going to get arrested before you can charm Lou <laughs> in the bed and break her heart. It's not a chance. I'm too smart. 
Well, that inspires confidence. Lansing's just trying to stir up trouble, but the man has nothing on him. 